Low back pain is the leading cause of disability worldwide and the prevalence is rising. In New Zealand, chronic low back pain, which is low back pain that lasts longer than three months, is the biggest contributor to health loss and the healthcare costs associated are over 352 million a year. In 70% of cases of chronic low back pain, that person doesn't have a diagnosis as we don't actually know what is the source of their low back pain. We know that muscle knots are very common in people with chronic low back pain. And a muscle that we commonly find these knots in is called the gluteus medius. And this muscle runs along the top of the buttocks on either side. Some knots that we press on may reproduce that person's low back pain or others we press on might just be really sore to touch. Other findings in this patient group are tightness around the hips and weakness around the hips. My research study is investigating whether there is a relationship between certain types of knots in gluteus medius and hip tightness and hip weakness. We currently don't know a lot about the relationships of the findings in this patient group and more knowledge would simplify treatment and make it a lot more successful. In my study, people with chronic low back pain came in for assessment and I assessed how much movement they had in their hips and how strong they were in their hips. Then my co-researcher had a feel through their gluteus medius muscles to see what types of knots that they had. I'm currently analyzing the results and I'm very excited to see what relationships I am going to find. For example, if I find there is a relationship between a type of knot in the gluteus medius and hip tightness and hip weakness, this has big implications for treatment of this patient group. It would mean that if we treat this type of knot, we would resolve that person's hip tightness and hip weakness. How simple this would be. This is very exciting for me as a physio because it would mean my treatment would be a lot more effective for this patient group and very exciting for people who have chronic low back pain as they experience high levels of pain, disability, economic loss and also the psychological effects of chronic low back pain. Thank you.